I've created a little navel sphere thing here. I made a child of the abdomen lower. And now when I go and I dial up my morphs, it just gets left behind. It doesn't follow it. Um, so this is a case where you'd want to use a rigid follow node. Now how this works is you need to go on the figure and select some geometry. I'm going to hide the sphere for a second. I'm going to select, okay, get the geometry editor tool. And I'm going to select a couple polygons. And then, actually I'll go in a little closer. That might work. Okay. So this might be too many. I know we'll have to experiment with a little bit. But go select the bone that we want it to be a child of. Select the geometry. Right click and go to geometry assignment. Create rigid follow node from selected. And then let's just name it navel. And now we have this sphere. We need to drag under the navel. Now when we dial up more if you can see it's moving now by selecting four polygons I apparently didn't do it any favors it causes it kind of rotate a little bit so sometimes you don't want to select as much as I did it's up to you if you don't like the rotation you can mess with that selection I'm not sure if I can adjust the selection or not let me see I can't that I see of so if you don't like how it went, um, well, let's see. If you don't like how it went, you might need to move the sphere back to the abdomen lower and then delete navel and then try again. I'm going to just select those two polygons and again create the rigid node. Accept that, and then put the sphere under that, and then again, let's just try dialing it up and see if it's better. So it kind of drifts a little bit. So sometimes when you select multiple faces, it'll make it better. Sometimes if you select less faces, it'll make it better. In this case, uh, there, it was probably better the way I had it set up originally. Try heavy. That holds on to it pretty well. So, the most important thing is just to find a selection of geometry that you'll like. You may have to play with that a little bit. And it looks to me like to play with it, you're going to have to just create new nodes. And I guess I could go in here and, and uh, just create more and then move the sphere from one to the other until I find one that behaves correctly. Like, I think I had best success if I selected these faces. Enable two. And then I'm going to grab that, drop it under there. And now let's try this again. Seems to be following maybe a little better. Where was the troublesome one? Bodybuilder. Okay, that seems to look pretty good. Body size. So maybe maybe these polygons outside of the of the navel are better. Gives you less weird rotation or anything. So you just make sure to play with your selection. And if I decide I like that one better, I can just delete the other one. And we're good. So it even follows Michael Seven pretty well. And that's how you can get your props to follow your morphs.